Covering Bradford County now, where for the first time parents and students are learning more about three proposed learning options for next school year. News for Jack's reporter Zach Lajway explains those different choices. The Bradford County School Board is proposing three options for students in the fall. Option one, brick and mortar, regular school, school will start August 10th. David Harris is the assistant superintendent of Bradford County School District. We are doing some temperature checks currently with some of our programs that are going on in the summer. However, uh, at this time, we are not looking to do temperature checks once school resumes in August. Masks are, are optional. Option two, Bradford Virtual Select. Harris says this option is new. It's virtual school run by Bradford educators. Not all students are going to be able or feel comfortable returning to school. And so, therefore, we're going to create a virtual option. With this option, students must do a full semester at a time, have a flexible daily schedule, may apply for a district Chromebook, have internet, use Edgenuity curriculum, which is internet-based. Harris says many students are already familiar with this software. He says not all classes or courses will meet NCAA requirements for student athletes. You will get a district diploma and enrollment begins soon. Option three, full-time My Bradford Virtual School through Northeast Florida Education Consortium, also known as NEFEC. With this option, students must do a full semester at a time, have a flexible daily schedule, and students are across districts. I spoke with one Bradford County father who has a 14-year-old daughter and a 15-year-old son. Are you pleased with any of the options? Realistically, no. Um, I mean, for my children, uh, option two seems to be what would work the best for my family personally. TJ McClellan's son has cystic fibrosis. We're really in a tough spot. I, I really, I, I don't know honestly what to do. The district says this three option plan is expected to be approved at the meeting on July 27th. I'm Zach Lajway, Channel 4, The Local Station.